Hello and welcome to Underwater Math. Today, we are going to explain equivalent fractions using models. And luckily for us, Grumpy Kitty is here to help. I was promised a donut. Sprinkle. First, let's review. A fraction consists of the number of shaded parts as the numerator and the number of total parts as the denominator. Equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal, but written differently. Can you explain in donuts, please? Sure thing. If I were to cut this donut in two pieces and eat one of the pieces, that would be one half of the donut. That is equivalent to cutting a donut in four pieces and eating two of those pieces. So one half is equivalent to two fourths. They have the same amount shaded. Yes, they may have different numerators and denominators, but their value is the same. Let's look at a problem together. I'm gonna need another donut for that. I'll get right on that. What equivalent fractions do these models represent, and why are they equivalent? The first model shows two eighths. The second one shows one fourth. Those are two different fractions. You are absolutely right, Grumpy Kitty. They are written differently. But they are equal because... Both models have the same amount of space shaded. I knew that. You're getting it. But what if we are looking at number lines instead of models? I'm running out of donut over here. Let's do it together. Name two equivalent fractions that the donut represents and explain why they are equivalent. Is that one mod? This number line is broken up into three parts. So we can call each of these parts a third. The donut is on the two-thirds line, so we have found one fraction. To find an equivalent fraction to two-thirds, we can break each of these parts into two equal parts. How many total parts do we have now, Grumpy Kitty? There are one, two, three, four, five, six total parts. And one grumpier kitty if I don't get that donut. That's right. So each of these tick marks are one sixth. Now we can see on the number line, the donut represents four sixths. Both of these fractions mark the same spot as the donut on the number line, so we know they are equivalent. That's just great. I'll take that donut now. I need your help with one more thing, Grumpy Kitty. Unbelievable. Half of these donuts are your favorite kind. What is an equivalent fraction to one half? Two fourths are my favorite. One half is equivalent to two fourths. Bravo. I'll take some milk with that. <laughs>